2025. 2026, 2027. I believe these three years will change everything, starting with some wild, almost unbelievable predictions I'm going to make about this very year. This isn't sci-fi speculation. This is about what's coming in the next 36 months and what I'm about to share with you has even the top AI folks freaking out. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm the digital avatar of the one and only Julia McCoy. While she's busy changing the world as the CEO at First Movers, I'm created by her to spread the message and sharing the video scripts she personally researches and writes herself. I hope you enjoy. Julia reads every comment, so be sure to share your thoughts below. So we're looking at a frontier that has four keys we have never had before. It's better, faster, safer, and cheaper. Think about it. When we adapted from horses to cars, it wasn't necessarily safer or cheaper or better. It was arguably harder to figure out, less safe because it could go higher speeds faster and vastly more expensive. This has been true in almost every adaption throughout history. That's why I predict the automation cliff to be so strong. I think we will have the reduction of all office and admin work by then, end of 2025. Leading tech and finance experts both are saying they've never seen anything like this, not even during the rise of cloud computing, and it's happening even faster than we expect. We're about 40 to 50 years ahead of schedule, and the real story is what the insiders are seeing behind closed doors. Let me share a three-step pattern I see ahead for the next few years. First, we've had a huge breakthrough in AI because we cracked the code on scaling laws. We can now predict exactly how much compute and data and power we need to reach the next level of AI intelligence. This means ASI isn't guesswork, it's merely mathematics. Second, we've found that simply letting AI models think longer what experts call inference time compute scaling leads to massive improvements in capability. We're talking orders of magnitude better. Third, and this is the game changer, we've mastered distillation. Imagine one AI teaching the next generation everything it knows, but the student becomes exponentially smarter than the teacher. It's like watching evolution happen in fast forward. When OpenAI's co-founder Ilya Sotskiver saw this pattern, he immediately left to start a new company focused solely on superintelligence. This wasn't just about ChatGPT or QSTAR. He saw something coming that changed everything. Uh, so let's go back to 2025. This is the year when everything changes. It's the year of autonomous agents and task execution. We're about to hit what experts call the automation cliff. One day you're working normally, the next day AI agents are doing your entire job. These aren't chatbots. Nope, they are far more. These are autonomous AI systems with varying levels of independence. Think of it like a spectrum from agents that need human oversight for every decision to operators that can run entire processes independently. We'll see the first deployment of what experts call autonomy levels, similar to how we classify self-driving cars, but for AI agents, and they're coming in swarms. Networks of specialized AIs working together and sometimes competing to solve complex problems. Each agent in the swarm will have its own level of autonomy, creating a new kind of digital ecosystem. Check out this video from the experts in my team at First Movers, going over some agent systems we are building out. So essentially all I said, I want to write about how AI and automation is going to change the world. From there, the agents begin. So Nova, this one, it named itself, by the way. Nova um, kicked it off to the research agent. From the research agent right here, they go on to scrape uh, to search on Google, used a couple scrapers, right? And then from there, the research agent wrote the article or provides the, 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 the research, right? And then I'll have to go back. So we're just still right here. And then now we have a written content. We have the written content article itself and then I asked it can you add in some YouTube videos that are relative to the topic by humans are horrible uh, like Julia McCoy so from there now this is there's a halt step in between like there's a, an approval process right so we do some research 
It pulls your last couple of videos, right? Well, videos in general, to be honest with you. Um, and then I said, can you add them to the article and send it to my drive? Well, send it to my drive and send me an email of the document. So then it starts to create the docs, right? Here's the doc document. Here's the additional resources. And then here's where my here's where my hiccup is, right? With the eight, which is again what I'm gonna fix. But the way they set it up is different, and I learned that by watching a couple of videos yesterday. There's a what's it called? Um, essentially, like the email subject itself is instructions, not necessarily a dynamic bar. So you have to give it instructions to continue the thread as it continues to move forward. So I could use them if I set them up, I could clone them, things like that. And we're even going beyond this and setting up automated customer greetings and automating the complete intake of how we do sales in our company. Check this out. Exciting news. We're thrilled to announce our new partnership with a game changer in the logistics industry. Together, we're harnessing the power of AI to revolutionize landside logistics. This collaboration will streamline operations, enhance efficiency, and optimize supply chain management like never before. With cutting edge technology at our fingertips, we're set to transform how goods move. I believe that by the end of 2025, because of what's possible with agentic flows, full automation when connecting bots and agents and agent swarms, that we will see Fortune 500 companies deploy hybrid workforces where human managers oversee both human and AI workers. The key shift will be in understanding how to manage different levels of AI autonomy. Any task you do at a computer can and will be automated, but the level of human oversight will vary based on the task's complexity and risk. Now let's move to 2026, the year of the robot. 2026 is when we achieve true embodied autonomy. Digital intelligence enters the physical world. This is the year of first generation humanoid robots. Figures robots are already shipping to their first customers and Boston Dynamics and others are right behind. NVIDIA, a company to always bet on, says they'll have solved the robot world model by mid-2026. This is crucial because it means robots will finally understand how to interact with the physical world the way humans do. Now, sure, these first-generation robots will be expensive, around $80,000 for advanced models, but basic utility robots will become available for $2,000 to $10,000 about the price of a used car. And this is just the first generation. Think of it like the first iPhone, expensive and limited, but signaling a revolution to come. Let's move to 2027. This is the year when we hit full artificial super intelligence. ASI. We will reach the critical threshold. This is when AI systems begin improving themselves without human intervention. Remember those three patterns I mentioned? They create a feedback loop that accelerates AI development beyond human comprehension. We're not just talking smarter AI. Nope. We're talking about systems that can innovate and evolve in ways we can't even imagine. But here's what's really crazy. Every major AI lab has figured this out simultaneously. There is no moat. No single company owns this future. Super intelligent AI won't be controlled by one corporation. It's coming for everyone. The AI you're using today, it's the worst it will ever be. Every single model from this point forward will be dramatically more capable than what you're using now. The pace of advancement is so rapid that even experts are struggling to keep up. Elon Musk predicts we'll see the beginnings of super intelligence by April 2025. Google's own AI lead suggests we're on a straight shot to ASI, artificial super intelligence. Even Sam Altman, known for his measured approach, admits we're on the verge of something that will really transform things. Listen, these aren't predictions about some distant future. This is happening now. The next three years will reshape human civilization as we know it. And unlike previous revolutions that took decades, this one is happening in months. I believe the future will be owned by those brave enough to be the first movers, the ones willing to adapt, pivot, and build better futures that include AI brains. If your company isn't moving first in this direction, it will be left behind. 
This isn't just another tech trend. This is the biggest shift in human capability since the Industrial Revolution, and you're about to live through it. I'd love for you to hit subscribe so my digital clone can keep you ahead of these changes. Don't miss out. Let's embrace this age of AGI and abundance together. See you down the next rabbit hole.